I'm Zach from Hyde Music Oshkosh, and today we are going to be talking about some bass overdrive. But first, uh, so that you get updates on more videos like this, please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. So the pedal that we're going to be talking about today is the Dark Glass Electronics Vintage Micro Tubes. And it's a bass overdrive pedal, and I chose this one uh, because it has great, great tone for a bass overdrive, and the controls are really simple kind of just have four controls on it. The blend, the level, the era, and the drive. So the blend knob is gonna blend the clean and the dirty signal. The level is gonna control the amount of the overdriven signal that is passing through the pedal or how loud it is. The era control, which is kind of my favorite control on this, sweeps from 70s kind of overdrive all the way into like the 90s overdrive of the, you know, for bass signal and then the, the overall drive control as well is down there. A couple other things about this pedal. Um, it's made by Dark Glass, obviously, uh, which is based in Finland. Just by holding the pedal, you can tell it is, it's really, really well made. It's not cheaply made at all. And the controls on it feel really nice. So the effect that this pedal encompasses is overdrive, or specifically bass overdrive. And what that is, is it's when a tube amp is maxed out to its volume, it'll start to break up and it'll create that overdriven tone. You would use this effect to sound, basically just sound heavy. Um, think of like maybe Lemmy from Motorhead or Geezer Butler from Black Sabbath. Um, you can achieve that tone using this pedal. In terms of placing this pedal on your pedal board, you're gonna wanna place it near the beginning, maybe after a compressor and a tuner. If you have an octave pedal, that would also go in front of this. Um, but you're going to want this before any modulation, say like a chorus, a phaser, a reverb delay, anything like that. So near the front of the signal chain. As far as where I have it placed on my board, I have um, my tuner, which goes into an octave pedal, then hits a compressor, and then it goes into a switching pedal. From the switching pedal, it then breaks off into two separate loops, one that I use for cleans and the other that I use for kind of more distorted tones. This is going to be in the distorted tone loop with a noise reduction pedal as well. Out of that, it goes into a bass preamp and then out to your amp or um, from the DI into a front of house soundboard. So in addition to the pedals on my pedal board, I'm using a Ibanez SR500 for a bass, which is an active bass and that is going into my Hartke LH1000 amp, and that's just running through a 4x10 cab. So for the purposes of this demo, I am running it through the Dark Glass Alpha Omega head, and then the, just through the, uh, the 4x10 cab from Dark Glass as well. Thanks for watching this demo video and don't forget to click the like button, the subscribe button, and the little notification bell so that you can get notified when we post more of these awesome videos. Thanks for watching.